Hey guys, look what I've got here. I'll just pop this down in front of me. Oh. Who needs to go to the gym? So in front of me, I have two chili bins, or I think you call them eskies, I'm not sure, chillers, coolers in America. I have two chili bins in front of me, and the reason for that is I have two lots of beer mail that have kindly been sent to me in the last couple of weeks. The first lot arrived from uh, Steve Bowood. Um, thank you very much, Steve. Steve is based in Wellington. And I also, about a week later, received a second beer mail from Chris Gibson from No Quarter Brewing. So, totally blown away, guys. Um, you know, I don't, never expect people to send me beers, so it's always a fantastic surprise um, when the beer arrives. Usually I'm at work, and Mrs. Dino is the one that has to uh, knock, uh, answer the door to the courier, so usually when I get home from work, um, She's already taken the beers inside, so anyway, yes, I've got two beer mails. Um, now, rather than doing, showing you both lots of beer mail in one video, which I think would make it a super long video, I'm going to show you the first lot from Steve Bowwood, and we're going to crack one of Steve's beers open. And then Chris, I am going to do a separate video for your beers, um, hopefully Thursday, Friday of this week. So if you're watching, um, I'll do a se separate video and we're going to crack into one of uh, Chris's beers. So thank you very much, guys. Let's dive into the beers that uh, Steve has kindly sent me. Um, just to let you know, they're a mixture of uh, beers that Steve has brewed himself, that Steve has brewed um, up with uh, alongside other members of the Barrel Club in Wellington. Um, another member is Grant Baker, so you'll be familiar if you follow Grant's um, channel um, about the Barrel Club. And also, I'm lucky enough to have um, a few of the 2014 SJ Poor beers um, that Steve has kindly sent back to me, or sent back to me, sent to me. So thank you very much for all of the beers that you've sent, Steve. I really do appreciate it and totally blown, blown away. There's like a dozen or so beers here. But luckily, Steve has included some notes. So thank you very much for that, Steve. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. I'm just going to pick up the beers in no particular order and we will go through them. Okay, so first up, we have a 2014 SJ Paul Beer from four, it's called Four Corners Porter, um, JO142NZ, no idea who brewed this up, um, so if you know, just, um, yeah, put a comment below, clocking in at 7.4% ABV, 47 IBUs, so looking forward to that, I'm not sure, can't remember if I tried that in that year's challenge. Now Steve sent me some really big beers from the Barrel Club, um, so I'm going to try and share these with um, some of the other local guys because it would be very selfish of me to try um, these on my own. So first up we have a Russian Imperial Stout, barrel aged and fresh Pinot Noir barrel, um, March 2014, so that's two and a half years old, so that should be a good one to try now, it should have aged, or well, it's had quite a bit of age obviously. 12%. Well, wow, some uh, rocking beers here, Steve. Okay, Imperial Pilsner. I don't think I've ever had an Imperial Pilsner. Asian Pinot Gris Barrel, 10%, brewed by the Barrel Club. So this is uh, just over a year old, brewed or brewed or bottled in September 2015. Next up, we have a Brown Stout, also brewed by the Barrel Club, aged for one year in Pinot Noir barrel, 9.9%. This was brewed just a fraction over a year ago, aged in French oak. Got a bit more information on each of the beers, but I think I'll um, just go into that when we when we try each each of them. Okay, next up. Okay, this is one of Steve's own beers that he's brewed on his own. It's an American Brown Stout, 2015, 75 IBUs and 9.5%. 
Okay, we have a black rye barley one. I just tried one from Grant Baker, which was from the Barrel Club, but I think this is actually a different Barrel Club black rye. It's aged in a 16-year-old bourbon American oak barrel, 11.6%. This one was done April this year, so that probably I'll hang on to that and we'll age that up. Okay, a barley wine aged in a Pinot Noir barrel, one year, for one year, 13%. Also a barrel club beer. Okay, that is oh, about 16, 17 months old. Far out, there's some huge beers here. I've been lucky enough to sort of try one or two of these types of beers, barrel beers. But to get so many at, at one time is um, fantastic. Okay, here's a bit of a blast from the past. This is my 2014 SJ Poor um, entry. Didn't expect to get a bottle back. Um, so yeah, not sure how that's going to hang it, how, how this is going to held up because it's only 6%. But we'll crack it open. If it's any good, I'll, I'll do a video on it. So thank you for that, Steve. Okay, what else we got? Now we've got a couple of special beers here. Um, in my hands, I don't know where there's any other bottles surviving, I have the second and third place beers from the 2014 SJ Poor Challenge um, the, for the World Finals, in the World Finals. So yeah, Grant came second overall in the World Finals with his Baltic Porter clocking in at 8%. And I also have... The Hidden Agenda beer, which I had had the pleasure of trying this um, when the challenge was actually on, um, from Dan Philly. I put Dan's full name because there's no way in hell I'll be able to uh, pronounce it. And this is clocking in at 13%. So I was just, so Dan came third. Um, so a huge honour to have both of these beers in my hand. Um, if I can, I'll try and um, share these with uh, some of the other guys. Now, Grant or Dan, if, if you really want to get your hands back on these bottles, if you don't have any others and you want to see how they've aged, just sing out. I'm more than happy to send them to you. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to those two bad boys. I think they would have aged up um, pretty well over two years. So, thank you again, Steve, for sending those up. And then, last but not least, we have Steve's first attempt at a sour. It's a Bellina Weiss, sour with lactobacillus, um, kettle soured, 500 grams of raspberries, um, bottled on the 2nd of August. Now I was actually going to do a opening and tasting of, of this beer now, Steve, but the video is dragging on and I don't want people to miss out on this because it will be at the tail end of the video. So I'm going to stop now guys, do a separate video for this. Put the beer down. It's come out of the fridge so it is cold. So yeah, once again a huge thank you to you Steve. Um, super generous of you know to send all these beers up. I know an incredible amount of work has gone into them. Um, you know, especially those barrel aged beers, they take a lot of work and time and effort and not to mention money. So I do appreciate it. So I'll be doing separate videos, might take me a while to get through them all but they will be forthcoming over probably the next uh, several months. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you very much, Steve. And also a big thank you and shout out to uh, Chris Gibson. Um, if you're interested in seeing me crack this uh, Bellina Vice with raspberries open, um, just have a look for a separate video. So we'll catch you shortly. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Chris. We'll catch you soon. Cheers. Thank you.